So the second video, I'm going to pick up right where I left off in the first video. Well, we've already had the answer to part A. The answer is 9.603 E negative 13 joules. You can see the math is up here. Um, and then we move on to part B. So I actually realized I made a uh, mistake when I first wrote this question. Um, I kind of led you to think that you would need to take the 50 grams to convert to 50 kilograms, and that's false. I've since fixed it on the web assign. The reason why is because of the 50 grams of uranium-235 that undergoes nuclear fission, it is not fair to say that all 50 grams get converted into energy. Most of the mass is not converted. Um, so this amount of mass is actually less than 1% the mass of a neutron. So we are talking about an incredible small amount of mass that gets converted into energy. Well over 99% of all the mass stays as mass. Now, uh, so what I did is I went and figured out, well, how many reactions would 50 grams of uranium actually produce? And the answer was 1.27 E23. So all we're going to do for part B is we will take our answer for the amount of energy produced in one reaction and multiply it by the 1.27 E23 reactions. And in the process of doing this, I find out that the amount of energy produced is 1.22 E11 uh, joules of energy. Uh, I'm going to take that value, 1.22 E11, and I'm going to divide it by 3.6 E6. For those of you wondering where 3.6 E6 come from, that's what 3.6 million is. And by doing this, I've converted my answer into kilowatt hours, and I'm finding out that it's 33,877 kilowatt hours. And then the final thing is, all right, well, now that I know how many kilowatt hours it is, how many do I use in a year? Your house averages about 12,600 kilowatt hours per year. So 33,877 over 12,600. And what we find out is just that egg size of a piece of uranium-238 can power your house for 6.289 years 